Yes. Oh, shit. Hey, everybody. Today, Jonas and myself are going to show you how to take photographs that look like this. Now there's a couple things you have to get. First, you have to get steel wool, then you need a kitchen whisk, you need a cable to spin it with, and you need a nine volt battery. Now the nine volt battery is used to ignite the steel wool. Essentially, it sends a current through the thin wire and it heats up a lot to about 700 degrees Celsius. These temperatures cause the iron to react with oxygen in the air, creating iron oxide. This reaction releases heat, which heats up the next strand and so on, causing a cascading reaction across the steel wool. Now, when you're doing this, you need to remember the science. You see, the chemical reaction requires oxygen, so fluffing it up and then spinning it increases the amount of oxygen available, hence speeding up the reaction and giving us the amazing display that we use for our photographs. Oh, bad ass. Oh man, I can't wait to check out check out what I look like in slow-mo. Next, you gotta make sure you have protective gear. Gloves, a hat, eye protection. Crap, I forgot the eye protection. Uh, now this whole process is pretty simple. We're gonna walk you through what we think about when we're taking the photographs. You want me to do it? Overhead. Overhead, yeah, so circle. Yeah. I think the trick is we have a sweet spot, time-wise, uh, just before it gets too dark, when, when you can really see, first of all, the color of the sky and then the contrast of the trees uh, that creates a really nice backdrop for the images. After that, when it gets really dark, the actual steel wool part is gonna look really cool, but you won't get the same layered effect of the images. And I think this is, this is like the timing. If we can do two more before it gets too dark, I think. Golden. Let's switch. Now I think now is an appropriate time to warn you about the hazards. Be very careful with this. You are dealing with very hot things and spreading them over a considerable distance. Try always to do it either over water or concrete as they will catch things on fire even if you're trying to be careful. Huh? I put out a fire on the hillside. Okay, go for it. Oh shoot. Jump, jump, jump. Right up there. Right here, right here, right here. Jonas. Right there. What was that? Oh. Was that was that a fire? Yep. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me, man. Oh, that was a flame. In it's really dry right now. All these leaves were on fire. <laughs> we were catching. It's, uh, we're like 15 yards away from where I was standing, and we're catching like glowing steel wool. And of course, you can get burnt too. Oh, this is the fun of a fucking ah! Oh! What? You shot... Oh. Did I get you? You shot a piece into my sleeve. Oh no. Oh. All right, send us your pics, be responsible, and be safe. Ready? Yep. Oh, that was probably the best one we've done, even. <laughs> okay.